It's a make or miss league. It's a make or miss league. I'm not really sure about that. It's a make or miss league. Rachel, it's a make or miss league. How many times do I have to tell you? It's an 82 game season, coach. Keep coming with it. Make homages on Saturday. Jamal Murray beating a triple team with the pass. That is one way to do it. Self off the backboard. Do you see any trade shades of Tracy McGrady here? Oh, there's more than shades. I mean, there, there's like, there's totally Ooh. full shadows. Look at that. <laughs> this is one way to do it. Anytime we can show that T-Mac highlight, I'm showing the T-Mac highlight. Come on. It's Shout so out to good. T-Mac, though. <laughs> this was fun, though. I love watching this. I like that one. That was the a step pivot. through. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, step through. Like, not a travel. But that one was deep. Oh, that's, that one was real That's deep. a little more authority. That was a little bit more risky. Right? Which made it better. Boom. T-Mac did it twice in games, by the way. Mm. There you go. Boom. Miss humility. Janae's friend Nick Young posting this video of his seven-year-old son on Instagram. So is Swaggy P Jr. already following in his father's footsteps? Oh, or absolutely. Guy? Big facts. What do they say? Uh, you, yo, daddy's son. Yeah. I spend um, time one hour a week with Nick Young, two, three hours a week. And that guy is not short of confidence. And his son, you know, the apple did not that fall far. <laughs> From the tree. I was like, is it nature, nurture, or both? Right, exactly. Yes. By the way, you spend time, you guys do a podcast. Yeah, together. certified bucket. You guys just don't sit around and throw behind your back baskets in the basketball and <laughs> see if they'll go in. No, we don't. We don't. <laughs> Look at this kid. He is That's brilliant. having it. Shout out to you, Swaggy Jr., Nick Jr. Woo! Make rock bottom. Last night, the Warriors lost by 21 at home. Draymond Green had what we think was an attempted alley-oop off the backboard. <laughs> that, I mean, Tracy McGrady, there you go. Maybe. Um, Friday, the Knicks, Kevin Knox had a putback dunk on the wrong basket. Oh, yeah. So I, I watched that like 50 times. I could not what, decide what he was doing. What, what do we think? Right? So, okay, so the question is supposed to be who's having the harder time, the Knicks or the Warriors? But the Knicks did just beat the Warriors, so they probably <laughs> win that discussion, right? They're competing each other. Yeah, I think it's an issue of intention. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> You don't think the Knicks well, meant to beat the Warriors? Long. No, no, clearly not. <laughs> the Warriors are going to get a draft pick, come back, and everything. Right. Draft and then Knicks Draymond. fans, Knicks fans, you can tell this is where we are, that Knicks fans, after a game like last night, they're like, but they could have beaten Denver. Yes. I'm like, right, but they didn't. Did it. They, right, because of the score. Miss Belief, last night, Spencer Dinwiddie posterized Tobias Harris. Woo, the Nets banch almost ran out of the gym. <laughs> Apparently, Kenny Atkinson showed this in the locker room to the team after the game. Kenny. Um, do you think Spencer's teammates just didn't know he could do this? Yeah, because Joe Harris, didn't he say that? He's like, well, he doesn't do that at all. Right. And, then, and then Spencer had him. to, yeah. Because here's the thing, over-celebration is a backhanded compliment. Very true. Well, right, right, because in, in some ways, right? Like, it's almost like, very oh, true. you're not supposed to be. <laughs> if I had it through, my team was like, oh, yeah. I'm like, no, 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 this is what I'm supposed to be. Well, I'll, I'll still celebrate. <laughs> still it's fine. Very well, LeBron James, who is a dunker, has a big dunk. People celebrate, that right? That is true. Right. When it, Anthony Davis is a big Not always. Dunk, right, like, like it can either celebrate. be absolute tribute or, right. oh, we're kind of surprised. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sticking with this game, the Nets beat the Sixers by 20 points. They had Philly to a season-low 89. Joel Embiid now is out with an illness. The Sixers are three and three in games without their all-star center with losses to the Suns, Magic, and Nets. So, Kevin, we thought them getting Al Horford was going to let Joel Embiid take more time off. Now, not, we didn't expect him to be sick, but right. when he had little bumps and bruises, this was supposed to help. Instead, they're struggling without him. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, I, I would say that the Philadelphia should be a team pretty well equipped because, you know, you have a world where in, you know, Horford at the five, Harris at the four, Richardson a long three, mm -hmm. you know, bringing Korkmaz, or, or they had Mike Scott yesterday, and Simmons, who essentially, though he's a one, can defend all five positions, mm -hmm. right? And, um, and, and I, I still have faith that this, I wouldn't say it's a silver lining, I don't think they can achieve their potential without Embiid, but their offense has been a little congested, not constipated, congested <laughs> for a couple of weeks ago. Um, but... And this should, because I mean, again, I, I think that this might time. get more shoot. This could get more shooting. And also, Embiid is a guy who requires a lot of post touches. Right. The offense tends to slow. Um, okay, so why aren't they better then? I mean, look, I mean, I want to, I want to see. And I don't mean better without him. I mean term. better when he is not there. I'd rather have Cork Miles on the floor than, than, than Scott. I'm not. I mean, I, I think Scott's been great, um, but they're going to have to get shooting again. This is this all goes back to that, and they 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 decided to go big in the off season, right? We're going we're going to, we're going to size up. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be long. We're going to be a defensive team. That is our identity. But I mean, the question is, is who on that floor can manufacture his own perimeter shot at any given moment? I mean, 
I, I don't yeah. have an answer to that. Yeah, there's not an answer, but to me, I think this sort of underscores the value of Joel Embiid because he got himself into a little bit of hot water with the OGs, with Shaq and Chuck, largely because people expect him to be that MVP guy. And I think we're realizing when he's not there, they need him, not just offensively, but defensively. And a lot of people were critical because they're like, you have the capability to average 30. Last year, he averaged 27 points per game. He's only 22, 23 so far this year. But my whole thing is talking about pressure today. I'm, I feel like we need to take the pressure off of Joel Embiid because he's realized that, hey, guys, maybe I don't need to be this MVP guy. What I want to do is be that guy you need in the playoffs. So everyone's like, we expect you every game. I know his body, his history with health and all that stuff is, is a little tough, and that's why having Al Horford helps. But to me, Joel Embiid, if he's able to just feel fresh coming to playoffs, that's the ultimate goal. Ideally, you want them to win without him, but he is a guy that's an MVP caliber guy on offense, and defensively, he's a defensive player of the year, always like top four or five in the voting as well. Yeah, and by the way, I don't think they're a contender without him, so I don't think that's a stretch. No. They're also a team that won nine of ten and laid an egg on a Sunday afternoon in New York. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. so I, I don't want to go like, oh my God, they can't, you know. I mean, yeah. let's see. I actually think this can be a good workshop for them to sort of, again, I want to see how to they generate have, more offense. They have spacing issues, mm -hmm. and they need to address them, and this is not a bad clinic for w with which to do that. This team has made a bunch of moves in right. the last 12 months and Ton. it seems like they still need to make more before they get into the spring and really want to contend. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app and for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+. Plus.